as we have five lights for the final time ahead of the drivers it's lights out and away we go Verstappen ahead of Bottas Norris getting a good start but behind Lewis Hamilton Sainz and Albon neck and neck going into the first corner Verstappen leads from Bottas who once again gets all squirrely out of the first corner Bottas ahead of his teammate Lewis Hamilton there's Norris Albon Sainz and then Danny Kvyat Charles Leclerc ahead of Sebastian Vettel the two Ferraris running close as well into the first real big braking zone we go Verstappen heads them Alex Albon on the soft compound tyres trying to get at Lando Norris around the hairpin we go Max Verstappen has aced the start as down the inside goes the Renault of, of uh, Daniel Ricciardo on the Ferrari at the hairpin and he's got himself ahead of Sebastian Vettel we have 20 cars remaining in this race and once again for the third consecutive weekend Valtteri Bottas struggling on initial application out of the first corner or two but now he steadied the ship and he heads off down towards turn 11 and very much then still in play with Max Verstappen and ahead of his teammate Hamilton. Here comes Pierre Gasly on Esteban Ocon, Frenchman against Frenchman, and it is Monsieur Gasly uh, that moves into the uh, ninth place spot. And Esteban Ocon will try and get him back at the next heavy braking zone at the end of this long, long back straight. They're going wheel to wheel. The Alpha Tauri and the Renault. Who's going to be latest on the brakes? Who's got the bravery? Man who's got the inside line seems to have got that place all sorted out. Gasly ahead of Ocon gap to Lando Norris, eight tenths of a second to Alex Albon. He's been pushing and pushing Lando Norris, but how long can he stay close to him? Can he get by here? He's going down the inside, Alex Albon, on Lando Norris, who didn't seem to fight that one too strongly. Maybe he wasn't able to fight that one too strongly. As a nice move for Alex Albon, goes up into fourth place, but is Norris going to try and switch it back again and make a move here? Yes, because the McLaren then gets the DRS, because it goes through the DRS detection zone in the lead, but easily up back up the inside that one is very good in this wheel-to-wheel -wheel combat isn't he yeah and that's an important move for him and for red bull here we go 200 miles an hour or so with an extra 20 kilometers an hour of drs here goes down the inside pierre gasly on daniel Kvyat, brave and bold and he's made that stick and once again sebastian Vettel just a bit too far behind esteban ocon to make an impression but that was great from gasly Oh, Sergio Perez, what's happened here? This looks like mechanical issues, and the man who won from last to first, last time out, has a different kind of first here in Abu Dhabi, the first driver to retire from the race. And the engine just completely went on him. Oil pressure kill, it says on his uh, steering wheel. 2.3 second stop for Max Verstappen as he comes in. Max Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas, Lewis Hamilton, Alex Albon, uh, the top four all stop. Danny Ricciardo didn't come in because Ricciardo is uh, on the hard tyre. Verstappen will find those two Mercedes a lot closer to him now as they start lap 14 as they were at the initial point of that safety car period. Still trying to warm up his tyres. Carlos Sainz behind Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel as they make their way through turn one. Yeah, this is when all the simulations fall apart. You don't know that a car will stop and then have a virtual safety car, but actually turns out to be transmission. But this is also why you always want fresh tyres on for the safety car restart. And they have in the top four very much got fresh tyres on. Daniel Ricciardo in fifth, stayed out, got track position. There's a car going uh, way, way off the track right at the back there. And I think that's one of the uh, Williams making its way very slowly around the head. Now, actually, could be Pietro Fittipaldi as we ride on board now with Carlos Sainz. And he has got past Charles Leclerc. We saw him trying to get heat into those tyres. Has he got enough under braking? Yes, to stay ahead of Charles Leclerc. Leclerc doesn't get DRS, not for a couple of laps after the restart, but he'll try and find a decent slipstream here to pass his teammate for next season. Carlos Sainz has got the McLaren ahead, but here now comes Charles Leclerc back again. Inside line for Sainz. Leclerc is going to try and fight it out, but in the end just has to concede, and it's Carlos Sainz in eighth place. Leclerc down to ninth. And there might be a position change here as well, because Pierre Gasly has gone down the inside of Lance Stroll and he has forced that Alpha Tauri past the racing point. They did touch as Gasly went through and Lance Stroll down into 10th now with Gasly up into 9th. It was a bold move. Here comes Daniel Ricciardo to be serviced by the Renault crew for the last time then. Stops on his marks. What tyres are going to go on? 
medium, medium. compound tyre for yeah. Daniel Ricciardo to the end. That's a really good uh, stint by Daniel Ricciardo there. 40 laps on the hard compound tyre. Seventh place now to the end he goes on fresh tyres. For Max Verstappen, it's another fantastic feeling as he rounds the final corner. The checker flag's in sight. Verstappen wins the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and rounds off the season in perfect fashion for himself and for Red Bull. Verstappen victorious in Abu Dhabi. Mercedes, the Constructors' champions, playing second best under the lights here tonight. Bottas finishes ahead of Hamilton in second and third. Alex Albon's late charge sees him stay in fourth, but only a second and a half behind. Lando Norris, super performance from him tonight. Esteban Ocon seems to have got Lance Stroll. Norris crosses the line to finish fifth. His teammate Carlos Sainz, his teammate for one last race, comes home in sixth place and on the day that they announce new investment into the team McLaren have backed even more millions by clinching that third place in the Constructors Championship. Formula One started its season on July the 5th it ended in the middle of December it saw Mercedes clinch both titles once again. It saw Max Verstappen and Red Bull leave their most dominant performance right until the very end. We got 17 races in. Let's celebrate Formula One in 2020 as Verstappen celebrates another win under the lights here in Abu Dhabi tonight.